Hi, I'm a programmer and you're watching Learn to Code. In this lecture, we are going to learn about how can we handle uncode exceptions in Java threads. At first, let's try to understand what are these uncode exceptions. So exceptions that leaks from thread cannot be caught directly using a try catch block. But why it is so? Let's say uh, you have a class called reading exception tags which implements runnable interface and overwrite the run method. Inside run method, we have uh, a try catch block and uh, we cannot uh, throw any checked exception because run method does not declare any checked exception. So therefore we are bound or forced to handle the checked exception inside the run method only. So if any exception occurs which cannot be cached, then this is considered as a leaked exception and cannot be handled in the main method using try catch block. Let's jump into the coding to understand more about it. So please be sure you subscribe to my channel as I upload new tutorials every week. Let's create a class called read exception task. And implements a runnable interface. I'm gonna override the run method and throw runtime exception inside the run method. Let's go back to the main driver class. I'm going to create two instances of thread inside the main method. Thread thread equals new thread and I'm gonna pass the object of read exception task and we'll name this thread as a t1. Let me copy paste this and let's change the reference name to thread2 and 1. Also let's change the name of the thread to t2. I'm gonna invoke a start method on both of these threads thread1.start and thread2.start. Let's run and see the output. So as expected t1 and t2 has thrown the exception on the console. Let's try to catch this exception by using try and catch block in the main method. Let's surround this code with the try and catch block. Let's say try and let me cut and paste this and uh, inside catch we will print um, exception occurred in threads. Let's run and see it again. Oh, we still see the exception is being thrown and it didn't also printed our output line. So we have proved once again that by using the try catch block, you cannot catch uncaught exceptions in Java threads. So how to handle uncaught exception in Java threads? When there is an exception leaking from Java threads, we can handle these exception by using inner interface of thread class called uncaught exception handler interface. So to handle uncaught exception, uh, we need to write the exception handler which should implement thread.uncaught exception handler and also overwrite the only method uncaught exception present in this interface which allows to pass two arguments thread object and throwable. So throwable which will help us to identify the exception occurred in our thread. So let's create the, the exception handler first. I'm removing this try catch. Now let's create a class called read exception handler. Uh, this will implement a thread dot uncaught exception handler. Uh, I'm gonna override its uh, only method uncaught exception. I'm going to write exception caught in thread. Concatenate with the thread name t dot get name. Concatenate with e. Let's separate it with colon. Let me also create a constructor. Create a new data member also. 
I'm mentioning this data member inside the constructor so that we can assign the value to it. To print onto the console, we need to add two string method also. Awesome, it looks good now. So the first way is to use exception handler is by calling the static method thread.setDefaultUncodeActionHandler and we need to pass the exception handler object as an argument. So whenever any exception occurs in any thread on your application, JVM will use this as a default handler to handle the exception. So let's see that in action. So this is the first way to handle uncaught exceptions in Java threads. So let me write thread.set default uncaught exception handler. Now inside this we need to pass our handler whichever we wrote. So our exception handler is read exception handler and inside this I am going to pass the handler name. So the handler name will be default handler. Let me remove the spaces. Go to the read exception handler and add this object to know the object details. Let's run and see the output. Nice, this time exception has been caught and we know the reason why is it failed. Now this is the exception handler and its id is default handler. And we can see the caught exception is java.lang.runtime exception. Second way of using the exception handler is specific to individual or group of threads. We can create custom exception handler and pass it to the dynamic method set uncaught exception handler. Um, so let's see this in action to understand more about this. So I am creating a new class called read exception custom handler. Let's implement uncaught exception handler and override the uncaught exception method. Now inside this I am going to mention system out.println. This concatenate exception occurred in thread t.getName then colon then concatenate e all right i also need a handler name so i will define private string handler name and will create a constructor with this element also uh, we need a two string method if we want to print onto the console so let's create this method also all right it looks good now so we can set the custom exception handler by calling set uncaught exception handler on thread one. So let's write and pass the object of read exception custom handler and set the handler name as custom exception handler. Now it looks good. Let's do one more thing. Let's comment the static method thread.set default and got exception handler all right now let's run it again so exception occurred in thread 2 and thread 1 t1 and t2 but the exception has been cached in t1 but for t2 it is not being cached so second way of using exception handler method is very specific to the thread or group of threads. So it will only handle the exception for those threads on which we have called set uncaught exception handler method. So let's handle the exception for t2 thread also. Now this is the third way where we combine default handler and the custom exception handler. So let's write it. 
I'm uncommenting thread.set default on code exception handler. Let's try to run it and see the output. Now this time exception has been cached for both threads. So even if we are not setting a specific uh, exception or custom exception for other threads but if we have uh, enabled the default uncaught exception handler then for all other threads the default handler will take care of it otherwise if you have uh, set uncaught exception handler for a specific thread then that will be taken priority over the default uh, uncaught exception handler now this is done in next lecture we will talk about wait and notify mechanism and as well as join so see you there if you have any query or question related to this topic then please post your question on the comment section and also you can email me on the mail address provided in the description thank you for watching the video